Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal and I'm going to try these, okay? It is, it is 1020 p.m. And I got these for Christmas. I've been wanting to try them. And just every night I haven't felt like hopping on camera because I want to show you the process of doing it. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the morning. So, we are gonna do this, all right? This is the Kish, Kitsch, whatever it's called, one that goes, you know, like this, and then you wrap your hair around, and you sleep with it like that, and then it has the two satin scrunchies. Um, so, we are going to do this. I'm gonna brush my hair really good. Uh, it is rainy and wet outside, and I was, outside walking the dogs so my hair is a little crazy now the thing is is i don't know do i need damp hair for this should i dampen it i don't know should i dampen my hair for this or should i just do it dry what do you say place curling ribbon on top of damp or dry hair and use your favorite claw clip not included to secure in place Begin wrapping half of your hair around, starting with the section at the top of your head. Secure the ends of your hair with scrunchie and repeat on the other side. Okay, it says wet or dry hair, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to try it dry. And if this doesn't work and it doesn't look good, then we will, you know, try it damp next time. I don't know. I'm not gonna part my hair in the back because I don't want it to be a hard part uh, in the middle of my head. So that looks about right. And then it says use a claw clip to hold, ow! To hold it on your head, okay? Are we looking good yet? Okay. And then you're gonna start section by section wrapping your hair around this. Now, I did watch a girl on TikTok doing this with the legging method, which I am going to try. Um, so, I do kind of know how to wrap it a little bit. I'm not like a pro or anything. Um... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, we're losing it. We're losing it. Um, ah! This is going great. We love everything that's happening currently. Um, but yeah, so I kinda know what I'm doing, but then again, I also have no idea what the hell I'm doing. And Gus is under the table smacking it, so that's why it's shaking. Do I just take the rest of this wide and just go down the thing. Okay. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna bend this up. Do I, should I? I'm not gonna bend the hair, but I'm gonna bend it up and do like that. Okay, and then, oh dear Lord. Okay, we're gonna do the other side now. All right, and then we're going to take some from the back and bring it to the front with that hair along with some other hair. And then we're going to wrap it. We're going to get some more from the back. And, oh, I let go. And then wrap it. And then we're going to get some from the front and wrap that. And then some from the back to bring to the front. Oh no, we're letting go. It's it's getting loose, shit. Okay, and then we're gonna take a honk here and wrap and then bring this around with us. And then we're gonna take a honk from the back. We gotta get all this hair and then we're gonna take this and then we're gonna, we're gonna not know what the hell we're doing. Okay. Okay. 
All right, and then we're gonna do this. I will say it's quick. And then I'm just gonna fold it. And again, I'm not folding where the hair is. I'm just folding it like after the, like where the hair isn't wrapped around it. Okay. Guys, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if I wrapped it tight enough, but I'll see you in the morning. If this thing is still on my head when I wake up, I'll be surprised. I'm just gonna be honest. I think I sleep too crazy for this. I don't think this is ever gonna stay on my head. Not in a million years. Should I have, I don't know, maybe you need longer hair? I don't know. All right. Okay. All right, guys, I will see you in the morning, okay? Um, and show you what this looks like. Um, I'm gonna try to jump on camera first thing in the morning to show you what it looks like as soon as I get up. But if not, I will take a picture because I may have to go have coffee and stuff first. So if not, I'll just, I'll make sure I take a picture when I get up in the morning so you see what it looks like after sleeping on it. But I'll take it out if it's still in there with you guys, okay? So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. All right, I'm back. Okay, I slept in them. Now, full transparency, I did have to rewrap each side last night before I went to bed because I realized that when I was wrapping it the first time, I just did not wrap it tight enough and it was already starting to pop loose. But this is exactly what I looked like this morning when I woke up. Like, I, I shit you not, I did not redo this. So it looked good. I have no reason to make you think that this works because I, I didn't, they're not paying me to do this. So anyways, um, <clears throat> I've been up for a little bit. I got up. Do you have to bite your tail behind my butt? I got up and read my Bible and all that stuff. And then, um, I was hanging out with Max a little bit on my second cup of coffee and I decided, I was like, let's go get these out. Okay, <clears throat> so before I take it out and we see what it actually looks like, let's talk about sleeping in it, okay? When I first lay down, because I'm a side sleeper, okay? It was kind of weird, but it wasn't uncomfortable. I think I was afraid that I was going to knock it out of my hair. So I was like trying to get comfortable, but I was trying not to like mess with it. But <clears throat> honestly, I think after you sleep in it a couple of times, you'll be fine. You're not going to be worried about it coming out because this is literally what it looked like when I woke up. It did not slip out. <clears throat> I was expecting it to be out of my hair when I woke up. It is there. The only thing is it's a little bit like whenever I went to sleep, it was down like this more. And once I woke up, you know, it's got like some space up here. But... It's still wrapped around just fine. I was afraid these shorter pieces wouldn't be wrapped around anymore and they would just be hanging out, but they're all still there, okay? So it was it was comfortable to sleep in. It wasn't uncomfortable at all, which I'm thankful for because I cannot do like being uncomfortable while sleeping. If you are as old as I am, then you probably remember um, the little foam curlers, little rollers or whatever. And I'm almost positive you probably have slept in them at least once. I've slept in foam rollers so many times. And you know, like the plastic like jabs into your head. It's uncomfortable. Our moms used to roll them so tight. It looked like we were getting a damn perm. So, anywho, let's take these out and see what they look like. Alright, so you just take the scrunchies off. And these are also good scrunchies to have. Like, um... I have some satin scrunchies and I love them because you can use them in your hair and it doesn't put a crease. Okay, so I'm just gonna unfold these. I don't know if you're supposed to fold them whenever you do it. Now the thing I'm afraid of is that the ends, 
the longer pieces are going to be super curly at the end and then this is going to be like barely curled. Um, it shows that you can just do this. Okay, come on. I wouldn't quite do it just pulling it because, oh my God, y'all look. Okay. I'm just going to use my fingers. Okay. So it curled. Oh, okay. It curled. And remember my hair was dry when I put this on. My hair was dry. I didn't even dampen it. So I would say probably don't do your hair damp. I mean, you can, but I don't think it needs to be. Oh, okay. Hold on. What? This, okay. All right. I'm sold already. I don't know what the back looks like though. All right. I'm sold. That was the easiest thing I've ever done. You mean to tell me that I can do that before I go to bed and wake up the next morning and have curled hair? Now, the only thing I'm afraid of, sorry guys, the only thing I'm afraid of is that over the day, throughout the day, that the top layers will get... The, the curl will fall and then this bottom part will be really curly. I don't know. I'll let you know in the description box down below. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the back. Ow. What does it look like? Is it, does it look good? I don't know what it looks like. I won't know until I edit this video. Okay, so... I'm impressed, but look at this curl right here, y'all. Do y'all see this curl? Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep playing with it and keep doing it because like, well, I don't know. I think it, I think I did pretty good for my first time, to be honest. Let's see if really, oh my gosh, look. It all brushed into one little. Okay, so the problem is, the problem I'm running into is the ends on the longer pieces are really, really curled. And I wish they were looser, so maybe I shouldn't have wrapped it as tightly. I don't know, I'm gonna have to keep playing with it, but honestly, for my first try and the fact that all I did was wrap my dry not even freshly washed and blow dried hair around this thing and then slept all night, pulled it out and my hair is done. And I don't, you mean to tell me like, I don't have to sit there with a hot tool and continually curl my hair. Girl, I ain't never going to curl my hair again with a hot tool. Uh, uh, a hot tool will never touch this head again, ever. I was going to try the legging method tonight, but I don't know. Um, I don't know if I should because honestly, it's already going to be so curled. So I may wait until I wash it the next time because I want to see which one's better, the legging method or this. Um, you can also use a bath. I've seen people use a bathrobe, like the belt from a bathrobe. Um, this is better for your hair because it's satin. So it's not going to damage your hair. I have a question though. For any of you ladies that may watch this that have done the legging method, what material are the leggings that you're using? Are you using like a workout legging that's like really like, you know what I mean? Like a workout material. Are you using a cotton legging? Like what are you using? Is your hair dry? Is it damp? What, what's going on? Tell me about it because I need to know the details. And I will say, if you have longer hair, I think this is where it's at for sure. Okay? That's where it's at. I don't think I will ever curl my hair with a hot tool unless I, like, have to. Because no heat. This is so good for your hair. I'm sold. All right. Because this was dry hair. 
You saw my hair at the beginning of the video when I first started doing this. It was not this curled. Like, amazing. And if you want like a curly pony or you wanted to do like an, a, a clippy type of situation and have like it curled, the face framing pieces are already done for you. All of that's already done. You don't have to use any hot tool. And then all you have to do, like guys, it's already done. This, okay, I should have gotten one of these a long time ago. This is, this is where it's at, 110%, get one. If you like to curl your hair and you don't wanna damage it, get one, 10 out of 10. I love you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe before you go. Uh, turn on those notifications so you know when I try the legging method because we're going to see which one's better. And also, I'm going to try to gauge like which one, like if the legging method damages your hair more. So stay tuned. If there are other heatless girl methods that you want to see me try, leave them in the comments down below. Also, you can check the description box. I will link this. I will also have linked my Instagram and my TikTok. Go follow me over there. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.